Good afternoon and welcome to Modern Meets I. I'm your host, Blind Prime, and for today we're going to be covering the Viper Officer and Viper Soldiers 3-pack, the Amazon exclusive from G.I. Joe Classified series, but we're going to do it in a new way. So, I, uh, after trying to record this video a couple of times and realizing it just went crazy over time every single time, I decided I was just going to split it into two videos. So, one video we're going to cover the Viper Officer and the Viper Soldiers and their guns and accessories, and then in this video, we're just going to cover the blast effects pieces that came with it because I realized, you know, the blast effect pieces need a little time and attention and let's give them that time and attention they deserve. If you're wondering where you are and what you have discovered and why the, 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 the camera may get a little blurry, welcome to Blind Prime. I am a channel devoted to raising awareness for the blind through alternative means and methods, including the occasional blurriness on your camera so that you too can experience what life is as a blind person even temporarily, so that you can understand and maybe it'll help you, you get to know blind people a little better and cure some of that ignorance, give you a little knowledge so that you can go out and arm yourself with it in the real world. But, you know, that's what this channel is all about. It's about, you know, fixing ignorance by passing out knowledge. And today we're going to be passing out the knowledge of this Viper Officer, you know, three pack and also, you know, the knowledge that blind people can do a lot of cool things. If you don't believe me, go check out, you know, Pete Gust and the Blind Surfer. You know, go watch that stuff. You, without a doubt, you will understand. You know, blind people can do a lot of things. It's just that we, we need some help to do it, and uh, we need support networks. You know, it's just we're, uh, we're a unique disability and that we have to, uh, well, rely on others, and we have to trust a lot. We got to trust a lot, and that's difficult in today's world. You know, that's neither here nor there. If you want more information about that stuff, go check out my TikTok where I rant and rave all the time. Uh, and it's also called blind underscore prime. I mean, easy enough to remember. So let's begin without further ado. And who did I just knock on? All right, let's talk about... Can you just stay? Can you just stay over here until it's your time to be a part of the show? Thank you. All right. So first off, we're going to be talking about spirit here. Spirit is showcasing the uh, flash blast effect of the um, the muzzle flash where you get those cool little star patterns coming out the ends of the muzzle like you know you, it'll be a, like a little x or, or a plus sign depending on how the muzzle's turned and uh, it's just because there's some little little bits in the ends of the muzzle that allow the the uh, excess gas and explosions to go out the sides and not interfere with the bullet and that's what this blast effect showcases it showcases the uh, the explosion of the round leaving the chamber and uh, going in four different, you know, the, the little flames going in four different directions. I really like this star pattern, uh, X pattern um, blast effect. It's a nice little muzzle flash. I appreciate it. <sighs> Darn it. So, no, 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 no. Let's just, let's just set you back down. Okay, and now, now, now. Spirit, you're just going to chill right here against the side of the table. Good, good. Now it's time for you and you launched your blast effects, Flint. Eh, Flint, why are you always losing your blast effects? Okay, there we go. Here's a Flint, and we can plug the blast effects in one more time. Okay, there we go. And, oh, darn it. All right, so Flint has a shotgun here, and we're going to showcase how to assemble blast effects. So there's a little hole in the end of his shotgun, and there's a little, little pokey bit on the inside of this blast effect. We're just going to find the shotgun hole. And we're going to thread the blast effect in. Blast effect is threaded in. That's the kind of the explosion blast effect. It gives a big round explosion. And I wasn't sure what that blast effect could be used for, but I decided, you know, out of everything, it should be a shotgun. And then I have this, this blast out effect where the explosion goes in uh, kind of a cone pattern out from the barrel. And in the inside is the short laser effect. You know, and if any of you remember the Sunbow animations, you remember the lasers. There were always lasers, and I liked that. So we're just going to plug this effect into the port on the inside of the other effect. If we can do it, if we can do it, then we will do it. Darn it. I lost another effect. Let's see. Can we plug that in? All right, there we go. It's plugged in, and the final effect, just to showcase that you can stack these in threes, you can just plug that into the center of that bit. It does make this a bit heavy. But uh, it does kind of work. It's pretty neat that way. Um, except I'm not getting that blast effect in there this time. Oh well, 
will showcase that blast effect on another gun. But that's the nice, um, what I call the shotgun blast effect combo. You get the weird round blast effect that doesn't really have any flame effects to be kind of the smoke that spews from around the gun barrel when the shotgun is released. And then you have the, uh, the cool cone effect to be the shotgun uh, pattern of, uh, I forget what you would call that, but that is pretty nice. I like that. So we're just going to put Flint and his blast effects over here next to Spirit. Spirit, Spirit, why don't you, why can't you stand today? You know, just stand for me, Spirit. All right, next blast effect we're going to do is let me gather up, make sure I've got all the little blast effects down here on the tabletop. I don't want to lose them. We'll talk about a blast effect that I haven't found a place for, and uh, we'll move into something else. It's this weird blast effect that's kind of like a stand. Like it's it's got a concave center, or is it convex? Um, it goes inwards, uh, so maybe that's concave. Um, the uh, the blast effect kind of acts as a uh, stand in a lot of ways. Like you can take a, a, a G.I. Joe gun and just make it stand up vertically by using this blast effect, I guess. I don't know. But, man, my elbow touched you. No. You know what? I'm just going to lay you guys down. Good grief. All right. So I don't know what this blast effect can be used for. It's a really explosive blast effect. Maybe we can put it in Gung Ho's... Um, Gung Ho's Grenade Launcher, I think that would have worked pretty well for this weird blast effect. But that's the weird blast effect in the group that I'm just, you know, uh, not really sure on. Now, who do we have over here? Who do we have over here showing off, showing off what, what blast, you're not showing off any blast effects. Why aren't you showing off any blast effects? Your blast effect is over here that you were supposed to show off. Why is it on the ground? It should be in your gun. That's, I swear. Okay, so we're going to put that blast effect back in the gun. All right. No, 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 back in the gun, back in the gun. There it goes. Okay, so this is the medium range laser effect, I assume. And it fell out of the gun again. Let's put it back in the gun. Okay, back back in the gun. Excellent. Um, I'm not sure if this is a clear effect that has a bullet on the end, or if this is like the Sunbow lasers, and it's a cool laser effect. I don't even know what color it is. Tell me what color it is in the comments if you don't mind. But uh, the one the bat was holding, so you just in the comments be like, the one the bat was holding is colored blank. Um, that is a nice effect. I really like the, the extent of it. It's pretty cool. Um, I do appreciate that gun that he has too. And that gun is going to be something we talk about when we talk about... Let me just go ahead and remove this blast effect so we don't lose it. Uh, that gun is something we're going to talk about in the episode of the Viper Officers and Viper Figures 3-pack. Let's see what else are... So we've got the actual... We've got all three of them now here. And uh, that one with the bat wasn't the short one. That one with the bat was the long one. We've got the short one here that fell out of the... Uh, the short laser effect that fell out of Flint's gun. We've got the medium laser effect. But this medium laser effect isn't a medium laser effect at all. This is actually a bullet. It, it, it feels different. You get a rougher texture on this blast effect. And it gives the, the idea of a bullet flying through space, you know actual they they managed to try and sculpt the uh, the way the bullet would cut through the air and then at the very tippy end you can feel the tip end of a bullet i think that's a really nice blast effect and i really enjoy this and i think right there at the very front of that is the bullet i don't know what that little bit is but um i do think that's a cool blast effect i really enjoy that bullet you know the uh, bullet on the end of the lane but I don't know if that area is clear or not. And then you have the longest blast effect, which is this laser effect. It could also be a bullet effect for all I know, but it's not done in the same sculpting as the bullet was, which is what makes me think this is a laser. And the lasers, that's the long laser. And then we have the short laser, which was in Flint's gun. And the short laser is not that long at all. Let's see. The short laser is probably the, yeah, it's the length from the end of my uh, tip of my thumb to the first knuckle of the thumb. Now we're just going to put that down over there. There you go. All you blast effects can live right there in this corner. Darn it! I knocked Spirit over. Um, next up on the list... No, I don't want to knock you over. Are you who I need to talk about next? No. No, no, no. But you do need to stand up straight, Viper Officer. Good grief. Okay. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Don't you do it! Okay, next up on the list is... You have a blast effect. You have my favorite blast effect next to the cool one from the... Um, from the, the, the one we saw with Spirit, the flat, the muzzle flash blast effect. This one is the smoke blast effect. I love the smoke blast effect. I have it plugged into the silencer, 
just to be to make the more of a barrel extender for this gun that's being held by this viper soldier but this blast effect is quite excellent it's actually a smoke effect where you know at the end when you see in the movies the action movies and stuff the smoke coming off the barrel and then they blow the barrel to blow the smoke away i love it and i i didn't know i wanted a, a smoke effect on the end of my guns until i got this and honestly the the one of my negatives on this viper officer three pack thing is that we didn't get more of these smoke effects. I would have liked a couple of them at least. You know, two of them would have been really cool. I'm not gonna buy two Vip you know, two of these three packs just to get two smoke effects though. But these smoke effects are quite excellent and I absolutely love them. And um, I love that you know it comes off the, the end of the barrel and then it does a little curly cue. And a little smoke curly cue going up the end of the barrel. It's it's adorable, it's awesome, I love it. I just I just absolutely love these blast effects. They're all they're all so much fun. So we're going to put him back down, and we're going to move over here, and we're going to talk about him. Um, this guy here is holding the submachine gun, the Uzi, if you will, and um, he is sporting the blast effect of the spray and pray, as I've nicknamed it. The spray and pray, the spray and pray blast effect is a blast effect that has one, two, three, four, five little points to it going off at a... Um, a quarter circle away from the barrel as if the guy started in one direction and then moved the barrel in the other direction across while firing so it gives that cool symbol and then at the very end of it that's not even a bullet number five isn't even a bullet it's actually a bullet casing kind of flying away from the gun i, I like it i i do think it's cool um i really appreciate this this blast effect and better yet you can spin it upwards so that it can uh so you can have like the, uh, you know, he's firing straight ahead, but, you know, some Joe came by and karate chopped the gun mid-fire, and the gun is now lower to the ground, and then you get this cool blast effect of where the gun was before it got hit by, you know, we'll say Snake Eye's sword or something like that. Or you can spin it around and put it underneath, and then you can have a blast effect like um, Roadblock comes over, grabs the gun, and yanks it up while the guy's firing. And then you get a blast effect of the gun being yanked up into the sky, and you can have like uh, one of your Joes actually holding the gun, stopping it from killing another another Joe. I think that's really fun. I think that's really cool. I like that. I like that blast effect. It adds it adds a uh, a lot of flair to your um, to your display. And finally, do you have a blast effect for us? No, you do not. I think and I believe that is all the blast effects. These are blast effects are all very exciting and they're all very fun and I have to say that out of all of them I um, I have a top three and the top three is the uh, the bullet that that flies away f no the top three is the bullets for the Uzi that we just talked about the smoke effect and that cool X effect from the sniper rifle by Spirit that those are some really fun things and now I got to find my zapper so I can end the video where did it go I just laid it oh here it is. It was hiding underneath Spirit. Spirit, don't hide my zapper. Thank you for watching this episode of More Than Meets the Eye, and please tune in next Prime, where we will be discussing the Viper Officer and the Viper Soldiers 3-pack as a 5-pack with both of the bats, because, you know, the image on the box had five figures, apparently, and I wanted to discuss all five. And also, I have some other things I'd like to talk to you about with this Viper Officer pack. I, um, I got negatives and positives to it. It's... But when it comes to these blast effects, I don't really have any negatives to them. The only negative I have is the blast effect that I showed you that I just can't figure out what it's supposed to go to, and I assume it's some sort of gun stand, or it can be used for grenade launchers, or uh, some uh, explosion effecty thing like that. But we'll talk about that next Prime. Thanks for watching.